You don't need to read this if you work for me, because everything's already set up. If you don't work for me, hit the pause button and read this. You have 10 seconds. If at any time during this tutorial you need more time to read the instructions, please use the pause button. I will show you where to find the shortcuts during this tutorial. So if you forget a shortcut during a karaoke night, you'll be able to find it and use it again. Tip. If you forget a shortcut, find the shortcut you want to use in the menus. Click out of the menu and use the shortcut. You will never learn the shortcut if you simply click the command in the menu. Doing this may take a very short time longer when you need the command, but the next time you need the shortcut to the command, it's more likely you'll remember the shortcut and it'll be much faster. When you turn the computer on, KJAMs, iTunes, Quick Keys and Stickers will open automatically. This is something like what you will see when you turn the computer on. Whilst waiting for all the apps to open, turn on the TVs. And when you see the stickers advert, drag it to the TV screens. When KJAMS opens, make sure the task window is open. If the task window isn't open, hit Command 7. The task window shows you what's happening when you search for the library. There's your command button, 7. Task window opens. You need to make sure the task window, tasks have all finished before you start using KJAMS. If you can't remember the shortcut, here it is, in the menus, click out of it and use the keyboard shortcut. Choose a playlist from iTunes and start it playing. To start iTunes playing, hit the spacebar after you've chosen the track, then adjust the volume on iTunes. You need the volume on iTunes lower than on KJAMS. So if you have KJAMS full on and iTunes lower, that's good. Then adjust the volume on the amp. Hit the command and W and the iTunes window will vanish. Here it is again. Command W. You don't need the iTunes window visible whilst operating a busy karaoke night. If KJAMS was closed correctly, you should have no singers marked as here. If there are singers marked as here, click on Lens Karaoke icon in the left hand window of KJAMS and uncheck all the singers that are not needed. I've left lots of singers marked as here to show you. You'll know if singers are marked as here because their names are in bold. A fast way to do this is to uncheck from the top. Then the ticks move up as you uncheck each one. You don't need to mouse over each individual checkbox.
To mark a single as here, go to the Source section, click on Lens Karaoke and hit Command F and the cursor will appear in the search box. Type the singer's name and hit Enter. We'll do that again. Command F. The search box is ready to type. Type in the singer's name. Hit Enter. And then click the checkbox to mark the singer as here. Tip. If you click the words Lens Karaoke like this or any of the singer's names the name becomes editable and you'll need to hit enter to make it uneditable. You're always better to click the icon next to the name. If you double click a singer's tonight file in the left hand section of KJAMS known as source you'll see a red marker appear like this. Then go to the history within the singer's file and you can double click any song on it and it will be added to the tonight list. In fact if you double click a song from anywhere except Rotation and KJ Rotation, the song will get added to the highlighted singer's file. If you double click a song several times, the song will be added several times. And the track is double clicked, you can see at the top there that the song has been added to the singer's tonight list and if you double click it several times it will be transferred to the tonight list several times there to turn off the red marker double click the red marker and it'll vanish like so. To get ready to start the singing, click into KJ rotation. KJ rotation. Highlight the track you want to play, turn the KJM's volume all the way down, and hit the space bar. Hitting the space bar whilst KJAMS is active will start or pause the track. You'll now have iTunes and KJAMS playing, but only be able to hear iTunes. The karaoke window might be on the desktop. If it is, drag the karaoke window to the TV screen. You'll still have KJAMS and iTunes playing. Hit the space bar and the track will be paused. Note. When the karaoke is paused, the advert will be on the TV screens. Now hold down the Alt key and hit C. This will put the playhead to the beginning of the track. Note this only works in KJAMS, not iTunes. That's the Alt key. Hold the Alt key down. And hit C. The track's playing. Pause the track, it's paused. And the Q works even when it's paused. Alt and C, and now you can see it's got ready to sing to play the track from the beginning. 